Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with Wasp Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about how does spray foam work? Now, someone called me the other day and like, what is it? How does it work? What's going on? Why should I even buy it? Um, et cetera. So I just wanna go through a couple things here today. Uh, the first thing is, you know, what chemicals produce spray foam? So really it's a, a polio uh, resin and an isocyanate. Two different chemicals, they're in 55 gallon drums, they get pumped through heated hoses and they go to an internal mixing spray gun. And you see the guy on the roof spraying the material on your roof. Um, it's fluid applied, so it comes out as a liquid and when it lands on your roof, um, it'll expand 20 to 30 times in size uh, within seconds. Um, you're probably wondering, you know, what preparation is needed before you start spraying this stuff on my roof. Um, it really goes to three things, dry, clean, and sound. Um, a dry roof, meaning the top needs to be dry too, it can't be spraying on a wet roof, but really the insulation underneath needs, cannot be wet. So you need to identify those areas, remove them, and then you can spray from over on the top of the roof. Um, clean. Uh, every roof is power wash clean, like super clean before spray foam can be applied, and then sound. It's talking about the, uh, the membrane on top, how it's attached to the insulation below. Um, spray foam needs a fully adhered substrate to spray onto. So an example is a single ply roof that has fasteners along the seams. It's only, a, it's only adhered along those seams. So you'd have to put down like a cover board, or some other way to get the roof fully adhered before you can spray foam onto it. Um, how does it go onto a roof? Well, it's just simply spray applied. It goes around HVAC units, curbs, go around flashings, it's all spray applied. Um, if kind of people ask me, is, is it just spray foam and that's the whole system? Um, so no, there are actually four parts to a spray foam system. It's the spray foam is one part and there's always a base coat of silicone that goes on top of the foam. Um, which protects the spray foam from UV rays. And there's another top coat of coating over and over top of that. Um, and then usually there's granules embedded into that top coat. So foam, two things of coating and granules. So it's a four part uh, complete process. And then people ask me, you know, once it's applied, is there maintenance required? Um, very similar to your car doing oil changes. Uh, yes, even though you have a bumper to bumper warranty over 10 years, um, that would be voided if you do not change the oil. Um, and same thing with your roof. Um, you need someone uh, to come up on your roof at least annually just to see if there's any little cracks that have happened. Um, if your drains, a common thing is drains get clogged. There's a lot of leaves that get blown around. Um, if your drain is clogged, water has nowhere to go. It'll stand on your roof and it'll degrade your roofing system. Um, any repairs will not be covered if you just left it alone. Um, and then the most common thing people ask me, how long does this last? People want a roof that's installed, it's done, and they don't gotta worry about it. A spray foam roof will last as long as your building is around. And kind of how this works is, say you get a spray foam roof that you want the last 10 years, so you get a 10 year warranty on that. That would get you um, the foam, and then it'll be protected with 20 mils of coating over top of that. After 10 years, that 20 mils might be down to seven or eight mils of coating. At year 10, you would just clean the roof and bring that seven to eight mils of coating back to 20 again, and you get a new 10 year warranty. The foam never gets touched. It doesn't lose any of its insulating properties. And that's how a spray foam roof is a truly renewable roofing system. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how it works. That's the gambit. Um, please click the URL below. There's a, a blog post of more details and everything we talked about today. Hope you learned at least one thing new. And if you have any questions uh, for us, um, just fill out a request for quote form or call us at any time. Uh, thank you so much and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.